Now, a year after the inauguration of the OT region, its regional minister, Kwesi Ousu Yeboa, says he's unhappy about the region's continuous appendage to the Volta region. Mr. Yeboa says the region must be given full autonomy to independently function uh, and its institutions as well. Now, currently, the region has some of the its, its administrative duties being performed in the Volta region. Correspondent Peter Senu has more in the following report. Oti region is one of the six additional regions created in the December 2018 referendum. The creation of the region had some opposition from chiefs, groups and individuals in the region. Thirteen months after the creation of the region, residents say they are hopeful development will take off in the course of time. Basit Alabani represents the artisans in the region. Uh, we are not in the normal times now. I believe that too is a factor. Uh, now the government focus has gone on to the COVID-19 uh, and its combat. So uh, as we go forward, we are pleading that they should read, they should drive their attention to these promises that they've made to us as to the creation of the, the, the regions. Uh, we heard they will be giving us regional hospitals. We want to see it. We want to feel it now so that uh, we believe what the exercise we've all embarked on has yielded positively to our regime. Engineer Abuaji Nyampong is the member of parliament for the Biakuya constituency. For him, it has been a good one year. One year is a short time, but then so far it has been good because certain key decisions have been taken, like not concentrating all the um, establishments in one in one town. I know education is in Jaskan, uh, a Greek in a different place and so on. It is a novelty that is going to help all the towns you know, have access to infrastructure, to development, and that is uh, very good for us, so that everything is not concentrated in one place. Dixon Yaojambibi represents cocoa farmers in the region. For him, Cocoa Board must consider establishing its head office in the region since it is one of the largest cocoa producing regions. Separate us from the voter region and creating OT, you have to enjoy from our cocoa productions. So your major concern now is that now you need the administrative offices, offices as a region. As a region, there should be a regional office for cocoa production in OT. The regional minister, Kwesi Ousu Yeboa, shares in his views. It's mainly for the OT region, the OT section of it. And yet, the full board is not in the OT region. So I think that is a perfectly legitimate uh, demand on the part of our people, who are now continuing to pay with them to start time, that we also get the offices based here. For him, the region's continuous appendage to the Volta region is of serious concern to him. It is of very serious concern to me. OT is being treated as though, as I said, we are always an appendage to Volta or to the eastern region, which is, which is most inappropriate. Uh, we believe that having become autonomous administratively, we, we need to be able to give, in, to be given the opportunity to chart our own uh, course of uh, uh, development. The following institutions are currently operating in the region. For now, we have uh, regional directors of uh, feeder woods of our own, uh, of uh, highways, and of uh, urban woods. For several months now, the minister and some of his key staff have been living in hotel accommodation. This is due to accommodation challenges in the regional capital, Dambai. Meanwhile, Duty Regional Office Complex and Bangalos are at different levels of construction. The minister's initial accommodation, which used to be the accommodation for the municipal chief executive, is under renovation. Until such time that all these construction works are completed, the status quo remains same. Peter Senu, for Joy News.